As you might remember from previous LHC news, the incident that brought the LHC machine to a standstill occurred in sector 3-4. I'm now walking on the surface of point 3 in the bucolic village of Crozet in France, where you get access to the damaged sector. This is the access point of sector 3-4 of the LHC, where the incident on September 19th occurred last year. Today, after eight months of hard work, an important milestone is going to be achieved with the last bolt closing the sector and marking the end of repair works. Identification completed. Andrea Musso, worksite manager of sector 3-4, tells us about today's milestone. Eight months is the time that uh, we needed to repair sector 3-4 after the incident. And um, today we could uh, screw the last bolt to close the last bellow of the very last interconnection that we repaired. Till beginning of October we couldn't come down to the tunnel because everything had to be put in safe conditions for workers. Then when we started to work we found a completely non-standard situation. The conditions in the sector were not very easy. It was very cold because of this uh, huge leak of uh, liquid helium and uh, because of the magnets that were still cold and were reheating. The damaged area was uh, roughly 60 interconnections. That means 60, 60 magnets. Then there were the beam lines where the, where the beam passed through that were completely damaged all over the sector. This because of this big overpressure that damaged all the bellows that are not very thick, just 0.3 millimeters thick. And this was for probably four fifths of the, of the sector. So several hundreds of cuts to do in difficult situation. We can say that more than 100 people were involved working uh, full-time for eight months to repair what we, what we accomplished today. Major repairs to the damage area are done, but it's not over. The LHC machine has 10,000 splices between high current superconducting cables in its magnets. And they have to be checked before startup to determine whether they are safe for running or they need major upgrades again. Uh -huh. 